All right. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah. I, um, it's on my channel. Um, you can find it in Perspective and How Our Eyes Work, the playlist I have. Uh, what's I can't your, remember the exact name what's of the your video. Um, uh, G U D T I M S, the number four, A L L. And I pretty no, much what, just took. What's your YouTube no, channel? I'll look it up. Yeah, G U D T I M S. The number four, A L L. That's good. your YouTube channel. That's yeah. your username on YouTube. Good, good times for yeah, all. Good times for all. So Zach, you know the mathematical formula off the top of your head. You've recited it once before. Because we're still in the after show and it's going to be dedicated to the recording. Can you just rattle that off now? Yeah, no problem. It's called Rayleigh's criterion. It is radians equals one point two two times lambda over diameter. Lambda is just your wavelength of light. Yep. Yeah, I'm familiar with the Rayleigh's criteria. So that uh, yeah, all, all I did was I took that and I applied distance to it, pretty much. You you, you say you're familiar with the Rayleigh right. criterion, so you you appreciate yep. that that things disappear with distance, then. You yeah, the Rayleigh criteria so has to do the, mostly with two hold on, Bob, let's let Bob answer. Discernment. Sorry, Bob. You you appreciate that the Rayleigh criterion would calculate the thing that the diffraction limit, the things, the point that things disappear into the distance, or a hair disappears because you're too far for the resolution of the hair. Yeah, Rayleigh Rayleigh Rayleigh's criteria has to do primarily with being able to tell two things apart. Yeah, the the point where it's interfering, i.e., diffracting. Yeah. Right. So you appreciate that that is a calculation for how things can disappear into the distance, correct? Okay, so I can, I can apply the really criteria. I'm just waiting for a yes criteria. or a no. Is that an okay yes or an okay no? Do you appreciate that that is a calculation for how things can disappear into the distance? Do you yes. appreciate? You do appreciate that? Yeah. Can, yeah you show me, can you show me in any curve calculator where that formulator formulation is taken into consideration, please. Well, I'm not really interested in curve calculators I am. right now. What this I'm is trying a flat to do earth debate. This is a flat earth debate. I'm trying to figure out how it's a flat I earth debate. You've asked us enough questions about f stops. Now I'm asking you something, Bob. I would like sure, you, given that you understand the Ray Rayleigh criterion and its significance in respect to things disappearing with distance, to show me in any calculation for your model of a globe that you believe you live on, where that is taken into consideration, please. It's not. Why not? Uh, because it's basically based on triangles. Sorry. It it's based on triangles. We have a formula that you are aware of that takes into effect things disappearing with distance and a calculation for things disappearing with distance doesn't take it into account. You know, I think you raise a really good point, Nathan. You're damn straight. It's a curve calculator that talks about things disappearing into the distance. And according to Bob the Fallacy Guy, it doesn't take into account the very calculation called the Rayleigh Criterion that absolutely accounts for things disappearing with distance. That's very interesting, Bob. I'd agree. Nathan, why are you calling me names? I came on here very nice. Pam because you came on before and used fallacies repeatedly. You talked about R and used it to reify the horizon into the leading edge of a sphere. That's a fallacy called reification. So you are Did called I do that Bob. Today, I'm talking. You answer. You asked a question. Do you not like the answers? When you repeatedly use fallacy instead of science, you will be appropriately named. Bob the fallacy guy, as opposed to Bob the science guy. If you provided science, we wouldn't need to call you Bob the fallacy guy. So, Bob the fallacy guy, you have confirmed for my audience that the calculation for your reified sphere world that we absolutely do not live on does not account for the calculation for things disappearing into the distance, which would be the Rayleigh criterion. Why? Why not? Has he run away? Yeah, he left. Oh my god! So he's realised that by conceding that he understands the Rayleigh criterion and that it absolutely deals with things disappearing into the distance and conceding that it does not get accounted for in the global mathematics, 
he's performed one of the biggest blunders of the globe side probably in the last two or three months. I hope he realizes hey, that was recorded. Where's my 5K, Rory? Yeah. That's I, what I've been trying to tell I, that guy damn, for you took, you stole week my now. thunder. I was just about to get there for you, Zach. <laughs> 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 right. Absolutely correct, Rory. Just in case you're listening, you'll get a nice little trimmed out version of this on Zachary Zabala. G-U-D-T-I-M-S number four all will be trimming out this little section of this video and presenting it for the five grand you owe him. Zachary Zabala's owed five grand by a guy called Rory who asked about perspective, claiming that it was included. Well, we've just had a declaration from someone on his own side, Bob the Science Guy, that makes it very clear it isn't. So... Somebody owes Zachary Zabala five grand. His name's Rory. 